Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a um, short video on how to con uh, swap your connectors on your batteries, rifles, chargers, etc. Um, what we're going to need is a, a decent soldering iron where you can adjust the temperature preferably, some solder, some flux, some sleeving, your connectors that you need and obviously your batteries. Now, when you cut your battery old connector off, never cut both at the same time and always do one at a time so we're going to start off with the negative which is your black and we're just going to cut that and leave the positive connected to the old connector so we don't get arcing basically so we don't short them because if you short them over your battery is most likely going to be no good so Take a bit of the sleeving off, so you've got the wire showing, like that. Then you want to get your flux and your soldering iron. This is hard flux. You can get normal flux. But um, my friend's been using this one quite a lot, Mick. And I'll give it a go, and yeah, I agree, it's, it's really good. So this is what we're using today. So just put your soldering iron in the flux and put your put your wire in there as well. This will get you some flux on there. Next, we need to get some solder onto that wire now. So to do that, we're going to hold the soldering iron on there. And we're just going to touch the solder onto the wire. There we go. What you should end up with is a nicely coated wire on there with your solder. Next we need to get some flux and some solder onto your connector. So we do the same again, get your soldering iron. This time get your solder and just dip your solder into the flux and you'll get a bit on the end. Once you've done that, we're going to then put a blob of solder onto your connector. Just like that. So we've got a nice bead of solder on there. After we've done that, when your wire is cooled down, it's no longer hot, you can then put your heat shrink on. So just slide it over like that and then we're going to solder these two together. So we just touch the solder, soldering iron on the two parts until they mount the bond together. Hold it nice and steady. Like that, and it should be nice and tight. So that one's good, that one's done. One down, we've now got the positive to do. Before we do the positive, we need to put the heat shrink over that connector so we're not going to arc. So to do that, just slide it over. This heat shrink's a little bit tight, but it will go just like that. So we slid it over, it's completely covering that connector. You can either use the soldering iron just to rub along, but don't overheat it, otherwise you'll just burn through it. Or I prefer, I've got a little soldering torch and I'll just heat it up like that. And you can see how it's molded around. And it's covered, completely covered it. So now we can move on to the next one, which is a positive. So same again, we're just going to cut the positive. Like that. We're now safe, it can't touch the negative. And we're just going to strip back a bit of the wiring, a bit of the sleeving. 
and what you'll get is your wire exposed like that. So we're going to do the same again. We're going to melt some of the flux with a soldering iron and we're going to dip the wire into the flux. Like that. We'll get a nice bit of flux on there. And now we're just going to put the solder, in, solder on the flux, on the uh, wire as well. Go. So the brass wire has now gone silver. And we've got a nice bit of solder on there. So we need to do the same again on the connector. To do that, again, you took your flux, put your wire in, and get a good bit of flux on there. Put your soldering iron on your connector and just feed in the wire till you get a nice bead on that connector. Let that dry. Again, we need to put our bit of sleeving on, heat shrink. Um, what I do to make it a bit easier is just widen out the end of the heat shrink. So I'll put it on, I'll put it on um, a punch, something like that, and it'll just make it a bit wider at one end. Just makes it easier to go over the solder. So put that on there, like that, and we're just going to connect these two together, dead simple. So, make sure that's got it, give it a little tug, shouldn't move, put the heat shrink over, like that, so it's fully covering it. And then again, I'm just going to use my solder torch. Just shrink that cable on there. And there we go, done. So we've gone from a Tamiya connector to a Dean's connector. You can use XT60 connectors. Um, these are my preferred go-to. They're a lot easier. Um, they connect together better. It's just more of a definite connection and they come apart a lot easier as well. So yeah, XT60s, if you can see that. Or Dean's, uh, Tamiya, I think everyone swaps the Tamiya's out, they're no good. So yeah, I hope that's helped. Um, just one thing to mention, if you are changing your connectors, obviously you'll, ch you'll have to change them on your charger as well, and on your rifle. So just make sure you're getting them all the same way around. Now if you look, if you buy Dean's or XT60's, if you actually look at them, it says min minus and positive on there. So you shouldn't get them mixed up, but just, just bear that in mind. It's um, the worst thing you can do. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed it guys. Just a short one today, and um, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.